All right, what's up guys? Here we are back in the shop, back here, still waiting for my boat. So I'm going through my tackle. I showed you my tackle in a previous video. Uh, if you wanna go back and look at all of what came out of my boat and truck, pretty cool. But this time around, I'm gonna show you my trusty secret hook compartment. Now this is what I carry in my boat. Uh, I've carried this one pouch for about 20 years, a uh, long time. The only thing that I don't, uh, that won't fit in here is these guys, the hybrid worm hooks. Uh, everything else fits in here. And when I added those hybrid worm hooks, I, as you can tell, this thing is extremely bloated. It's extremely fat. And I'm going to walk you through everything that's in there. Uh, you know, I've, I've, this thing has been perfected over the years, I would say in that uh, the stuff that I use more frequently is in the middle because when I open it, it's right there. Uh, so you can see my heavy cover, heavy cover worm hooks are right there in the, in the middle. That's probably the hook I, I may use the most, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go from one side to the other, just show you all the hooks that are in here. And the outside of this thing is blue. It's a Bass Pro Shops deal. Like I said, had it about 20 years. Everything else in my boat is red. But it's probably appropriate that this thing is blue when you see how many Gamagatsu hooks are actually inside of here. Uh, there's only a few hooks that I, I don't use that are Gamagatsu, and I'll show you some of those. Uh, first of all, in the very back of this side, there's some of these, the little um, you know, center pins, the, their owner, speaking of not, not Gamagatsu. I keep some of those guys because you never know when you might be using some of those, you might need them uh, for a hook. Like if you're using a swim bait style hook and the little spring pops off or breaks, you can just, I can just grab one of those, stick it on there and then just keep using the hook that you've had. Uh, and that's the only thing that really is on this far side. But the first, the first ones are Gamagatsu G-Locks. I wrote on there with my own hand, G-Lock. And I keep everything from a little tiny number two that I would use for drop shotting. You can nose hook that guy for drop shotting all the way up to, well, I'll give you the, there's the number, there's the five aught G, uh, G lock. Uh, there are some applications for that, uh, you know, flipping tubes, stuff like that. And then I've got the big G mag. Uh, I haven't used that in a little bit, but there are some baits that that fits really well. Um, so there's the, the G-Locks, probably use those, you know, kind of the least. Then next up is, it says Finesse Worm. So we'll look and see what Finesse Worm is. I probably should move these more towards the middle because that little hook right there, I use a fair amount. It's a G Finesse, um, the Aaron Martin's uh, Finesse Heavy Cover Worm Hook. It's got that little titanium keeper on it. And that is a really, really good hook for drop shotting. Uh, whenever you're drop shotting, and you want to Texas rig it. That's that's really where I go with that. And they've got them all the way up to two aught, all the way up to two aught. So you can put you know pretty good sized worms on there. I mean, you can definitely put a uh, a quiver or something like that with that two aught. So I, should, I should probably move those more towards the middle. Maybe I'll evaluate that this off season. Uh, next. It says worm hooks, worm hooks. And these are where offset shank round bend worm hooks. That's what I, that's what I throw a whole lot of. Offset shank round bend worm hooks. And the reason these ones are blue is because they've already been tweaked. I tweak these hooks uh, and I keep these from one aught all the way up to five aught. And my little tweak with that hook, that's it right there, is I'll tweak this part down just a touch. And as you can see, it all lines up. Like this portion right here lines up with the hook point. You get a little little better bite. Uh, I use these whenever I'm a Carolina rigging. Uh, occasionally I'll use it for if I'm casting a Texas rig worm. But if I'm flipping and pitching, this is not the, the hook that I use. But I use that, that offset shank round bend worm hook. It's a mouthful, I hear you. Uh, it is a mouthful, but that's what I use when I'm um, Carolina rigging. 
uh, about, I don't know, 90% of the time. Sometimes I'll use that uh, if I'm throwing like a 48 Texas rig in it. Uh, the, these guys, the hybrid worm hooks, they have kind of come along and replaced some of the uses that I use for that offset shank rail bend worm hook. So that's, that's that. Next up, EWG slash Tokyo. That's right. So I've got my bigger EWG hooks in there, Gamakatsu. I've got five and six all EWG hooks. I use those for various things. Um, the, the Superline EWGs, you know, you can use it, those for stick baits. If I'm using uh, like a six inch, a 48 is only 4.8 inches long. But if I'm using a six inch stick, stick bait, like a Senko or a Dinger, uh, I'll, I'll go to that five or six all EWG. It just, it just fits it. I've caught a ton of fish on it. Works, works really well. And then I've already taken them out of the packages, but I've got three, four and five aught uh, Tokyo rigs. Those are the VMC ones right there. Really, uh, really like those. Uh, Gamakatsu kind of has their version now and um, they're coming along with it. The Jika the rig is somewhat similar to a Tokyo rig, uh, but it's different. A little different we'll get to that here in a few minutes as well um, so that's another pouch as we're getting towards the middle we're getting towards things i use more here's just the regular old ewg pouch now in my regular ewg pouch i've got everything from a number one ewg hook yeah that's right i use that guy on drop shotting uh, there's there's some thicker shorter drop shot baits that i will use that on great success uh, and I've got you know one aught two aught three aught four aught five aught all the way up there what do we have here there's three and I always get them in the bigger packs there's a three aught EWG and I keep the regulars and the super lines I have both the regular ones are what I'm using when I'm lighter line drop shot all the way up to maybe 10 or 12 pound test the super line is what I'm going to use when I've got you know 14 to 17 pound test or up so that's kind of the, the, the line there for me on when to use the super line versus the regular on those EWGs. The kind of the same line diameter thing goes from the regular shanks to the to the super lines or the two X's, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so here's here's my money makers. This is the middle guy I was telling you about earlier. Heavy cover worm hooks. I absolutely love these. Gamakatsu, heavy cover worm hooks. There's three aughts. I got three, four, and five aughts in here. The regular ones, the original ones, the regular ones. That's what I use 90 plus percent of the time. Uh, I've got multiple packs of those. Uh, I really like that. Anytime I'm flipping and pitching, heavy cover worm hook, that is getting the call. And uh, one thing that I will do with these hooks is that I'll just, I'll put a little dab of super glue on these ones. These are not the um, ones with the 10 keepers these are the ones with the 10 keepers you don't really need to do much to those but I only use those when I'm um, punching and I've got braid that's uh, that's when I'm using those that's the the G finesse version of the tournament grade wire finesse heavy cover worm hook oh, those are pretty cool and then the new ones the new guys the heavier heavier duty is this this is the G power and I haven't haven't even used these yet. We, they just came out this past year, so I'll be working these. These are the new hooks. I'm trying to work into the fray here somehow, somehow, some way. I'm gonna get them into the fray. I rhymed. Didn't even mean to. All right. So I'm gonna zip up the heavy cover worm hook. We're gonna keep going because we've got about four or five more pouches to go. Uh, now I, this one says drop slash wacky, and my drop shot hook is the g finesse drop shot hook love that love that that is absolutely cash money on a drop shot when you're nose hooking caught just a ton 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 a ton of fish on that right there um so i've got a bunch of those in all sizes from uh i think all the way up to two aught and then i've also got some of these guys and i use these for um, for wacky rig is it the octopus I use regular octopus hooks from Gabakatsu and they do great 
But this straight eye, as you can see, it doesn't have that tilted out eye. It's just got a straight eye. And you can just use tie directly to it. Straight braid is usually what I use with that wacky worm. Octopus straight eye. Pretty, pretty cool deal there. I really like that hook. Uh, I use one aught probably most of the time if I'm, you know, skipping around a trick worm or something like that. Uh, and then I've got various sizes of that and various sizes of the regular octopus in there. And moving on, we go into the, this one says flick slash wacky. Now, what is a flick? A flick is a basically a weighted wacky worm hook. And as you can see, the G Finesse Wacky Head, that's what I use, I mean, almost exclusively whenever I'm doing a flick shake or I'm doing, you know, just like a Wacky Worm where I want a little bit, um, it, it's got a little titanium weed guard on it and it'll come through some cover. I mean, you can't be like, throw, you know, flipping it into a, a lay down and then just reeling it right out. It's not quite made for that, uh, but I've got all the sizes that they make for that uh, from uh, 1 16th, 3 32nd, and uh, a 1 8th. Got all those sizes right here. And then I've got the weedless stinger hook. If I don't want any weight, that is a bad, bad dude right there. Bad dude. Brennaler knocked it out of the park there with helping Gamagatsu get, get that right. And what else is in here? I got some of these little wacky jig heads. I used to use some of these, and that was a good little hook for whenever I wanted to get my wacky worm deeper a little bit. Uh, that wacky jig head from from them, that's a good little hook in there. Uh, but it's, it's a light line deal. I hadn't thrown it probably in two or three years. I got more of those stinger hooks with the weed guards on them. And, and then I've got some of the regular stingers with no weed guards. Um, there will be times that I'll use that uh, when I'm wacky worming. If I want like just a longer shank hook, uh, that longer shank, really, those fish, they can't hardly throw that that hook. I mean, just has an amazing, amazing uh, hookup ratio there. So then uh, as we're just going through, got a couple more pouches. Got, what is this? Trailers slash unweighted. So what does that mean? Uh, the trailers that I'm using now is a Stinger trailer, the G Power. That is a slick little trailer hook right there. Uh, if you haven't seen those, it's under the G Power new. I, I don't know. I'm sure they have them on Tackle Warehouse and you know all the all the better retailers. I'm sure are going to be having those guys out. But I really like those. You don't need to go giant with those. Just putting it putting something on the back of a you know buzz bait or a spinner bait like that can can really be key got some of these nickels hooks for the big spoons just in case i should probably just put those in the spoons uh, but those go on the front they go on the front not the back they go on the front because those spoons are so big some of the fish hit at the front of them and you don't hook up really well with them you can put those on the front and uh, and and get them and then unweighted is the spring the super line spring lock unweighted those are great on toads any or frogs, I should say, uh, any kind of toad, like a, a horny toad, um, ribbit, things like that. Uh, or you, I'd take and put my um, missile baits 48 on that a lot of times and, and flick it around. Uh, that's a that's a good good hook. Um, let me see. Uh, here's one of the hooks that, that's not a gamagatsu that I'll use occasionally. If I want to kind of downsize, you can put that three aught uh, twist lock. It's very similar to the the hook I just showed you, but it's just a, a lot lighter wire. So if I'm going lighter wire and, and I want to have a similar um, style hook, that's what I'll, I'll go there. But I don't have very many of those. Use those occasionally. And then we've got the last one. I don't want all my hooks to fall out here. What does this say? Uh, weighted. So in the last pouch here, it says weighted. And what is a weighted hook? It's a hook. It's a spring lock hook with weight on it. I've got them everywhere from three aught all the way up. Yeah, three aught. I have like little swim baits you can throw in Texas Texas style all the way up to let's see how big these bad boys are. I've got even bigger ones, but here's a seven aught 
in that, you know, for your for your swim baits. Got the big swim bait hook there. And I've got a couple of these in there. I know a lot of people like that owner beast hook. It's a it's a good hook. It's totally a different style. Uh, if, if your swim baits are a lot thicker, shorter and thicker, the beast may fit it better. But for, you know, tr traditional hollow belly types, the uh, you can't get me to, to not throw these bad boys right there. This the regular spring lock weighted gamagatsu. They are good to go. And then at the very end on my other side here, you can see I've got a whole bunch of the power swivels. That is really handy whenever I'm tying short leaders say for a floating worm or possibly a Carolina rig, those power swivels are the deal. They are super strong and they are very small. They've got, you know, little teeny tiny ones. What do you, I don't even know what size that is. That's a size 10. That's the smallest one that I use. On a Carolina rig, I use a little bit bigger one. I use a, a six usually. And this, just so you can kind of see the size difference. There's the, there's the six. So it's a little bit bigger. It's more like what you would, what you would normally use. But on that one's 80 pound test. So I don't think you're going to be breaking any of those off uh, at the swivel. But then I've got, of course, I've got some of the silica packets in there. Silica packets make a big difference. And that's my, that's my secret. Oh Lord, I can't even get it. I can't even get it zipped. Ugh. Got it zipped. So that's my baby right there. I do not let anything happen. To, I, I do not let that thing get wet at all. Uh, and then, like I said, the only thing that, in addition to that, with regular worm hooks is this hybrid worm hook. Something I started using a couple years back. Mike McClellan helped design this for uh, Gamakatsu. And that's it right there. It's really kind of a cross between an EWG and an offset shank round bend worm hook. And here's the four aught. Like I would use the, I use this four aught on on flukes, you know, zoom flukes and things like that. Uh, but you can see it's got a deeper belly in it, and it is, uh, it is just absolutely money. Really, really like that hook. So those are all the like the worm hooks that I carry with me, and that's my secret worm hook stash. These these hybrid worm hooks I've got them from one aught which I use, sometimes I use that one smaller one, you know, for when I'm Texas rig drop shotting, I have a little bit longer worm. I want that, that hook to be back further. And they've got them all the way up to six aught. Now that six aught is a, is a hammer of a hook. That's a big hook. You can put a big bait through that thing. If I'm dragging a, a really big worm out offshore, that's probably what I'm gonna be using. Uh, but that's the only thing that goes in here. And I haven't figured out a way to call more hooks out of here to be able to get these guys in there. So as for right now, that's what it looks like. I put these two things and all of my single worm hooks uh, go right on there. So if you have any questions on any of the hooks you just saw, you wanna know what I use for, for what techniques, you saw them all and I can give you, you know, my take on what hook I use where, if you wanna check that out uh, and just let me know, drop it down there in the comments. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Anything else you wanna see detailed in my tackle, I'll be glad to go through it and explain why I use what I use for what I use. I think that's right.